Hello, and welcome to the Forley site on behalf of ExxonMobil and our contractor companies. You'll remember from your site induction that there are many key rules and pieces of information that you need to know to work safely on the site at Forley. For example, the Forley life-saving rules, the wearing of the correct PPE for each area of the site, general evacuation and emergency procedures, and the LPS system of behavioural safety that all site personnel use to keep them safe. The site at Forley comprises a refinery and chemical complex which together produce a vast range of lubricants, fuels and also speciality chemical products like rubber and solvents. In order to produce these range of diverse products, the site uses many different feedstocks and processes. This means that there are many different process areas, or units, that are manufacturing products at the site. Each process unit has its own hazards, and although they are safely operated and the Foley site has very few incidents, it's important that you know the hazards on each unit that you work on, in order that you carry out your work safely and in the unlikely event of an emergency. For example, likely hazards can include toxic or flammable fluids, high pressure systems, hot or very cold surfaces, corrosive acids or alkalis, working in an area that involves upgrading of PPE, such as double hearing protection or even wearing a life jacket when working over water. You can see that to have one induction to cover all the areas would be too long and detailed to understand. We've therefore developed specific shorter induction films for each of the units that you would be expected to work on. These inductions are very important as they contain information specific to the area that you'll be working in, including the hazards and also emergency procedures and evacuation routes that you'll require in the event of an emergency. As you did with the site induction, please give this short film your best attention and please ask either your supervisor or ExxonMobil contact if you require any more assistance or clarification. Everybody working on units must have both a site induction and a block-specific induction. We need to ensure that everybody working at Foley has the right information to ensure that nobody gets hurt. The marine terminal is involved in the import and export of a large slate of hydrocarbon products that need to be handled with care. Many are flammable and all have the potential to cause serious pollution if they're allowed to spill into Southampton water. Many speciality products for the berths also have additional hazards associated with them. There are over 100 miles of overwater pipelines that carry 22 million tonnes of products per year. The marine terminal also supplies cooling water to both the refinery and chemical plants at a rate of 125,000 gallons per minute. The marine terminal's location over water also imposes additional working hazards, which require all visitors to be vigilant for their own and others' safety. There are over 2,500 shipping movements per year, and these are overseen and controlled by one panel man located in the marine terminal building in the North Trestle Square. The panel man's call sign is Rover 8 on Channel 10. When you're out working at the marine terminal, you become an extension to our eyes and ears. Please report anything that you are unsure about. All persons working at the FMT must report to the permit coordinator and sign in and out. The signing in book is located in Permit Control, North Trestle Square. There is a radio in Permit Control should you need to contact a berth operator or the permit coordinator. The call signs are on the Permit Control hatch. The hazard log is kept in Permit Control and should be checked every time you visit the marine terminal as there may be an identified hazard close to where you're working. The marine terminal is a restricted access area. Passes are issued by security. All visitors are required to swipe in and out of the terminal and passengers in vehicles must use the turnstiles on the trestles. The terminal is monitored by various surveillance cameras. These are not just limited to the access gates. All visitors should be prepared to be searched by security at any time. Bringing vehicles onto the marine terminal is strictly controlled and discouraged. Vehicles should only be brought onto the marine terminal if it is absolutely necessary and there is no alternative. Parking is severely restricted and where possible visitors should use the marine terminal bus from gate 2 or park at Solent View, known as Rat Island, and walk up to the North Trestle. Vehicle passes are only available from security. 
If you do bring a vehicle onto the marine terminal, you must leave the keys in it at all times, so it can be moved if required. The gas alarm is tested on a Wednesday afternoon, and it sounds like an air raid siren. Should you hear this at any other time, stop work immediately, switch off all equipment, including vehicles, and make your way to an assembly point. The marine terminal has six assembly points, and they are North Trestle Square, South Trestle Square, Main Trestle North Dolphin, Main Trestle South Dolphin, North Trestle Shoreside, and South Trestle Shoreside. There are phones on all berths. In case of emergency, dial 999 for the emergency services. I'd like to call it emergency. Yeah. Hearing protection is only required in SWPH3, single hearing, and SWPH4, double. Hearing protection will also be needed if required by specific work activities. When working over water or within one metre of an unguarded edge, you must wear a life jacket. However, this does not apply if working on a purpose-built platform or scaffold with handrails. When walking from the Rat Island car park to and from the Marine Terminal North Trestle building, before and after your working day, only safety glasses are required. But once at work, if you return to these areas during your working day or any other area of the FMT site, standard PPE is required. The FMT standard PPE does not include hearing protection unless specifically signed, such as SWPH 3 and 4. This scenario applies to persons working at the South Trestle, going to the South T head offices, and the same scenario applies to the tug crews walking from Solent View to the tugs. And that is, safety glasses required to be worn for both to and from your vehicle at the start and finish of work, however full PPE is required during your working day. Daily FMT operations include the mooring of large oil tankers and chemical carriers. These operations require the fixing of large mooring ropes to fix points on the jetty. Never stand adjacent to these lines when they are secured or being worked upon, as they can, in exceptional circumstances, break, causing them to recoil backward, or as we call it, snap back. The marine terminal is located in an environmentally sensitive marine habitat, which is also adjacent to an area designated as a site of specific scientific interest, SSSI. Always contain any liquids or products that are released during work, as we cannot detrimentally affect the environment around our site. Remember, all the details for the units are contained inside your white induction book. The information provided is critical to you and your colleague's safety. Have the right information at the right time, rather than having no information at the wrong time. Also, when you're working on our units, please at all times always use good housekeeping philosophy, use waste bins and skips provided, never deviate from your permit conditions without getting the permit reauthorized. Don't forget, a permit to work is required for any activity and should be read and understood by all involved, as it will contain additional safety information relevant to that task at that time. Also remember, our units are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Please do not block access or egress to any equipment or roadway. We would also ask that if you see an unsafe act or process situation, please report it immediately so that it can be investigated at the earliest opportunity. Pet phones are located across the blocks. Dial 9 in an emergency. Even if it's a false alarm or condition, we would rather investigate the potential situation than not know. Your observation could be critical. Please remember, our goal is always nobody gets hurt. We mean it, and with your safe work on our unit, together we can achieve this. Finally, if there's anything in this presentation that you aren't clear of, please talk to your supervisor or a member of the process team. Thank you for listening, and have a safe day.